I'm here with Greg Emile and Wally Robbins. Greg Emile's a guide on the Bay of Quinney and we're targeting big walleyes today. As you can see, it's pretty rainy. Trolling is the program. We're running planer boards and the down deep husky jerk. So we'll see how the program comes together and Greg knows what he's doing, so I'm pumped. <laughs> Liam, we got a fish on. Basically, these are migratory fish. So they're they're actually Lake Ontario walleye. They're not really relating to structure out in the open water. They're feeding on bait fish and they turn into absolute blimps. The traditional, you know, 29 inch fish is nine pounds, 30 inch fish is 10 pounds, 31, 11 pounds, and so on. That really isn't applicable to these fish because they're built like absolute blimps. And what they're doing this time of year is they're, they're migrating from Lake Ontario into the Bay of Quinney, which is a smaller piece of water. And they're going to spend the winter here and then spawn in the spring and then go back out into the main lake. Lake Ontario grows some huge walleyes. Yeah, we're hooked up with something heavy, so we'll see. One little hook right at the end, buddy. No T-bone for you. Wow, that is fat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Football shitty. <laughs> Crazy. Beauty. Look at that. Bay of Quinny Gold. <laughs> it's an awesome fish. Perky and rock solid. I'll let this one go and catch another one. These fish are really special. They've got a big migratory route where they could be traveling 60 plus miles from their summer destinations to their winter spawning grounds. Once the spawn happens, they beeline straight out to Lake Ontario and they live the whole summer, uh, early fall into Lake Ontario. Uh, once the cold water temps come in, uh, starting around October, they start migrating towards Bay of Quinney waters, basically following the bait fish, primarily shad. Six rods out today. What I like to do is put a buffet out of different depths. Today we're using mainly one ounce and one and a half ounce weight. So our deep diving lures will max out at approximately 15 to 20 odd feet. By adding a one or one and a half ounce snap weight, it'll help our deep diving crank get down to a little bit deeper depths. I'm really babying this fish. There's your fish. Back up, back up. Wally Robbins just caught a big walleye. We just threw it in the well. We're gonna measure it. <laughs> that is a unit. So general approach on Bay of Quinney walleye. Today we're fishing anywhere from about 80 to 140 feet of water. And we're trying to target the fish that are up high and active in the water column. I've got our traditional sonar here on the left side. As you can see, we've got fish below 50 feet. There's a lot of small loose bait. As you can see the thinner marks there, but these thicker marks should be our giant walleye that we are targeting today. I also have my side scan, middle line being the center of the boat. The dark area is open water and the lighter area here is bottom. As you can see, all these white little marks are the walleye off to the side. We got a fish on. This is actually a pretty heavy feeling fish. I like it when they pull like this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. 
No wonder this fish felt so heavy. <laughs> I thought this was a walleye, but it's uh, Beauty Lake, Ontario, Bay of Quinney Lake Trout. Awesome fish. I uh, suppose you never know what you're going to catch, right? Anyway, we'll let him go. There he goes. So I've been fishing here for approximately 30 years in Bay of Quinney, and I've watched over the years uh, our fishery get a little bit of a, uh, uh, a slowdown on the number of fish entering the system. Uh, it's become more popular over the years, and you know we welcome lots of fishermen. It's great for tourism. But what I'd like to mention is that we target the fish that are up high in the water column. And the main reason we do that, they are more active, but also we are not harvesting these large fish, male and female, that are 10 pounds and upwards to 15, 16 pounds. So we want to target the active fish up high. Can't stress enough how important it is not to fish down deep not to target the deep fish. Almost guaranteed a fish that has uh, barotrauma will not be able uh, to be released and will not survive. Target the higher fish, they are more active. You'll end up catching a lot more fish in that 25 foot, 30 foot water column as opposed to targeting these really deep fish down 60, 70 feet in the water column. I got color. There we go. How's he look? He feels pretty good. Nice uh, Bay of Quinney walleye. Oh look, he's blind. Check out that eye. He's blind on the one side. Surprised that he's not a darker color. Cool fish though, we'll let him go. 